All right, guys, we're back. Uh, game glitched out on me, but we're good. Stats. What did I want to look at before the stats? I feel like there was some... Well, let's just go look at stats. Let's look at the weekly awards first. And here we go. I'm mostly just going to be looking for our players. I forgot there's a Chicago Cougars team here. That just brings back memories. Look at Archibald for the Steelers. Look at him winning those first two. Okay, here we go. Do we have any players? Look at the Chicago Cougars getting two players there. Former Charger team. Two uh, Cowboys. Joey Bosa, another Cougar. And we have yet to get a single player of the week. There we go. Trey Mason. 21 carries, 158. Three touchdowns. All right. Week 10. Took us all the way to week 10, though. Let's see if we have another. I don't, oh, there we go, Emmanuel Agba. Three sacks, eight tackles. I'll take it. All right, so we got two players. Only two players, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, the Chicago Cougars are. Yearly awards, MVP going to Russell Wilson. 13 touchdowns, three interceptions. Dak Prescott coming in at number two. Robbie Tripp for the Toronto Thunderbirds coming in at number three. Devontae Freeman at four. Phillip Rivers, five. Blake Bortles, six. Jamarcus Hutchinson coming in at 7, Matt Ryan 8, Samuel Swift at number 9, and Thomas Rawls at number 10. Coach of the year, Thomas Pita. Oh my gosh, on the Chiefs, number 1. And Hugh Jackson on the Browns coming in at number 3, or the Thunderbirds now. All right. NFC, let's take a look at this first. I'm probably going to scroll through this kind of quickly outside of the rookies. So we'll pay attention to the rookies, but otherwise, there's Navarro Bowman having another uh, season for him. Stayed healthy this year. Marcus Pierre-Paul for the Rams, 73 overall, winning Offensive Rookie of the Year. DeKendrick Wetterburn, what a name for him. 76 overall. Dex Power, 78. Montreal Cody, 83 overall. Uh, Howard Roundtree, 79 overall. Landon Mills, 72. Calvin Hearn, 69. Nick Sproul, 78. Carlo, that's a weird way to spell Carlos. Carlos, Carlos Living, 78 overall. Tavares Stubblefield. Oh, that makes me think of Dana Stubblefield. All right, Caesar Die, 81 overall for the Cowboys. Dem Demetri, Demi Demetri, Samuel, I don't know how to say that one. 70 overall. Margarito McIntosh, 70 overall for the Packers. Nico Sowell. Not a whole lot of great looking players here. Here's Javante Luke. This might be Mike Luke's brother. 79 for the Rams. Damian Stanford, 65 overall for the Panthers. Oh boy, there's a lot of low overalls here. Oh wait, there you go. 86 overall for the Bucks. Why are 66, 65 overalls ahead of you? What did you do wrong with your life, sir? Oh man. Let's see. Here we go. Go down the list. Car highs would be bad. <laughs> oh, man. Odell Beckham Jr. on the Cardinals winning best wide receiver. Alshon Jeffrey down there. Mike Evans. Cowboys still have all the defensive or offensive line up there. Defensive line. Ezekiel uh, Anza going to be up top. Eric Armstead on that list for the 49ers. Linebackers. Navarro Bowman getting it done. All right. Not really seeing a whole lot of rookies here. Defensive backs. I, there is... How did they get an 87 overall defensive back? I just do not remember seeing many good defensive backs while trying to draft. There's Minter. I feel like we scouted him. He's a 91 overall. All right. Going down the list. And then we'll go over to the AFC. Robbie Tripp, Offensive Player of the Year. This should get him a lot of XP for us to work with, which will definitely be good. Which will definitely be good. Right, Prince? Alright. Do we have any other players here? Nope. Defensive player of the year. I doubt we'll have anybody here. Our defense just sucked. Outside of getting sacks. We did a great job getting sacks. We just didn't get a whole lot of interceptions. 86 overall. Jerron Favors for the Patriots. Oh, man. Russell Archibald. This is the guy that won player of the week his first two weeks ever. For the Steelers, only a 78 overall so far. Another 86 overall, this time for the Dolphins, Kevin Presley. 81 overall, Mike Luke for the Thunderbirds. You gotta think he'd be higher on this list had he not been injured for, what, the last four games of the, the regular season? 
He would probably be higher on that list, I would think. Devin Bethay, 79 for the Titans. Lewis Sheffield, 80 overall for the Bills. Antoine Tarpley, 73 for the Thunderbirds, coming in at number 7 there. 78 for the Broncos, 76 for the Colts, and 74 for the Chiefs. Defensive Rookie of the Year, oh my gosh, look at all those Thunderbirds. Oh my gosh, I have never seen something like that, especially on a freaking Sim Series. We're not even talking about like I was playing the games and just made those players great. This is a Sim Series. Sproles going to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. But we have five of the top seven. Oh my gosh. We did well in the draft last year. I have never seen something like this. Considering we went 11-5 and five with our defense this young, you got to think good things are in store for us, right? Dalton Bright coming in at number two. Eduardo Morrell coming in at three, Delray Porter at four, VJ Streeter coming in at number five, DeMar Jackson number six for the Colts, and then Robert Venable at number seven. But Venable missed nine weeks, and he is still on this list. Venable might be the best player of the bunch. So he might have been even higher. He missed nine weeks. Wow. We did well, boys. Best quarterback, Robbie Tripp. We are a team on the rise. Now, we don't have playoff experience yet, and that might hurt us. We'll see. Blake Angulo, 86 overall for the Chiefs, number two. Dijon Gilliam, number three for the Raiders, 88 overall. Then we got Trey Mason at number four. LaShawn McCoy, five. Duke Johnson coming in at number six. We have two running backs on the list. Our offensive line did a great job. There's Kevin Presley. We saw him, 86 overall rookie. Best wide receiver. I I wonder if we would have had anybody on this list. It's really crazy to think that we have the best quarterback, right? Best best quarterback, best offensive player, not a single wide receiver. Which says a lot about Robbie Tripp because he was spreading the ball around so well between all of our different weapons. So that's really cool to see. Joe Thomas, best offensive lineman. Hopefully, we don't lose this guy to retirement. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. It might, though. AJ Can going to be at number six. Richburg and Batonio coming in at number eight and nine. Our offensive line killed it this year. Uh, defensive line, Emmanuel Agbo will be on the list all the way down at number six. Linebackers, let's see if we have anybody here. Here's uh, this guy, Derek Sep Sepulveda, 88 overall. All right, so Tavares Deese will be on this list at number eight. Best defensive back. And Joe Hayden is going to make the list at number five. Gosh. Do we sign him on a one-year deal? I, I will have to look at what his speed is before we decide. I don't know. I don't know. What up, Brandon? Uh, we're in the playoffs, man. We went 11-5, and five, so we'll be in the playoffs. Offensive and yards... Look at our defensive yards. The second worst defense. Uh, we've scored the second most points, though. So our offense is killing it. Points allowed, 20th. Defense has got to be our focus. But again, we had, what, five of the top seven players for Defensive Rookie of the Year. I think that says our defense is going to be okay. They're going to get better. But that's a lot of that on the defensive line as well as linebackers. Secondary, still a concern. Still a concern, but overall, we did, we gave up a lot. We gave up way too many points, and that's an issue. Um, so if we look at the bottom of the interceptions, we're, we're the second worst. We only got nine interceptions on the season. We did force 18 fumbles. Where does that rank? Okay, so that ranks us up towards the top. We forced a lot of fumbles, but the interceptions were definitely an issue. Um, that's what we need to focus on. What about sacks? I feel like we would be pretty high on this list, but maybe not. Okay, yeah, we're pretty high on that list as well. Pretty high on that list as well. We got some work to do, though. We got some work to do. I think our defense is probably not good enough right now for us to win in the playoffs. I might be wrong, but that's that's what I'm thinking. Typically, if you see teams that struggle on defense, they struggle, right? Unless they all have sophomore slumps. Gosh, that would suck. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. All right, so before we go, let's go ahead and spend some Team XP. And, oh my gosh. 
Yes. There we go. I might just... I mean, he only has normal development. Why would I increase his development when he already got 27,000 points for us now? I just kind of want to go ahead and get his pass block up. I can maybe move this guy over to left tackle. This could be my left tackle of the future. Right? Get this to 80. 80 overall. Boy, his strength kind of sucks. I didn't see that. His strength is not very good. What up, Geo? What up, Pats? How you guys doing? Let's see. Always go for Dev. But again, he already had 27,000 points. Like, it's not like I need much more than that. I'd, I'd have to waste 13,000 of it just to uh, maybe get some more next year. But I'd rather spend it... If I'm getting a ton of XP already, I'd rather go ahead and spend it on this. Like, he, he got a lot of XP for us as it was. Um, but this guy might be our left tackle of the future now. And I'm excited about that. Because I was a bit worried. Alright, Robbie Tripp. 22,000 to work with. What is... He already has... No, wait. He has quick development. But again, I have 22,000 to work with. As long as I get 22,000 every year, I'm set. Um, Alright, so... What do you guys want to increase here? Just increase all of his accuracy? Probably. Maybe get play action to 80. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? But if I'm getting that, that much XP anyway in TV, I can increase them anyway. If I get 22,000 next year too, they'll be great anyway. I'm doing good, Geo. Doing pretty good, man. What up, Lemon Freak? How you doing today, dude? Good to see you. Go to traits. Oh, let's get the clutch. We definitely want the clutch. Throw the ball away. Well, he didn't turn the ball over a whole lot anyway. But, I I mean, that'd be good. Tight spiral. Let's get that. Let's get those. Let's get those first. Okay. So, now I, I think we should probably just focus on accuracy. Get play. I'd like to get play action up a little bit. No, we haven't done the draft yet. So, let's get play action to 80. Because we have a good run game. So this might open things up a lot more. 